Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today I want to talk about the good things about being a teen writer because I feel like it's often talked about like all the bad things, all the struggles, well like how it's harder, but I feel like we don't often talk about the good things because I personally think it's almost better than being an adult author in a couple ways. Let's get into it. <laughs> so the first point is that we get a head start. Um, if many adult authors don't start until they're like 20s, 30s, some don't start writing until they're retired. So this big head start gives us way more time to um, develop our style, to learn about writing, figure out whether we're a plotter or a pantser, what time we're best writing, figure out all those things that will help us in the future when we're adult authors. And it also kind of like we can write more books in our lifetime, and if your goal is to be famous, like mine, then we have more chances to do that because we can write more books in our lifetime, as I said. I know this isn't making much sense, and also this is a very non-scripted video, so I'm just kind of making things up as I go, and I do apologize. But, like, you know, we get a big head start. We can really develop our own style and our books, learn what works good, what works bad, how to develop characters and setting, all of the problems with our own writing already so that we can start to fix them at such a young age. Like I'm 15, almost 16, and by the time I like, even just by the time I graduate high school, I'm going to be so much of a better writer. And by the time I'm like the age of other authors when they first start, when they're like 30 or 40, I'm going to be at that level and I'm gonna be 18 years old. So I think that's a really good thing. Not to be like putting any more pressure or making it seem bad to be an adult author because that's very valid to start later. There are many benefits to that too, but right now I'm just talking about the good things about being a teen author. So that if you're a young author, maybe this can uplift things. Um, so yeah, you get a head start. Wonderful. Second of all, you don't feel the pressure as much. Because I feel like, I don't, obviously I don't know from experience, but I feel like, teen, like adults who want to be writers, like adult writers who have not published anything, they feel more pressure to, I don't know, to do well, to get books out. Um, but also, like, they feel the pressure of writing not being a valid career or whatever, or it being really unachievable to get to that point. You know, or make a living off it, you have the pressure of making a living off your writing if that's your goal. But as a teen, we don't need to make a living, so, and it's also, it might not be seen as like a valid career choice to some, although, I don't know, personally, it, no one really sees a problem with it, although everyone does think, you know, I gotta get a degree in something else. But I think that it's more seen as a hobby when you're a teenager, like a valid hobby. So it's more, it's more helpful to see writing as like a good thing. Cause like people will think that writing that's impressive, very impressive. They'll think it's like, they'll really applaud it instead of like when you're older and you're like, oh, I want to be a writer or something, or I'm working on writing a book so I can be a full-time author. I feel like that's not as accepted by the common people, like, you know, the common people that I'm, I don't know, I'm rambling on and making no sense, but, like, I think you know what I mean, you know? Like, it's more acceptable to be pursuing a writing career when you're younger because, like, you have time to figure it out. Also, maybe they think you're going to change your mind, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what they think. Yeah. Um, hmm, let's see. <laughs> Another benefit to being a writer as a teen, although this kind of goes to being a, an author in general, or a writer in general, is that it can help you, it can help with your mental health, because you can put all your trauma into your books. No, not, not because of that, but um, it can, writing helps improve your memory. Don't know how that works because I have a terrible memory, but you know, maybe it helps with school. Writing fiction, maybe, I mean, it doesn't correlate into writing essays, but, you know, maybe getting better at writing fiction will help you improve your writing of essays in high school and college. <laughs> but yeah, that's another benefit. I think another really big one is that it helps develop your mindset. 
writing is tough. Kind of like running. I am a runner, but like it's kind of mentally tough in a way that many other hobbies or careers aren't. We go through, like we have to deal with failure really well. And if you're like a young author, if you're a teen author who's trying to get published and like when you query, you have to deal with the rejections and just keep moving. And I think it's like writing has really helped my mindset. I really appreciate my great growth positive mindset. And I think that's something that you develop as a teen author. So that's definitely going to help you. Even if you don't become an author and you end up pursuing other interests, I think that it'd be a very valuable mindset to have just in the world. Another benefit is like the sense of accomplishment. You can achieve something so great so young. You could see your book published alongside many of your famous, of your favorite famous authors. Um, but also, this is a great achievement. You can put it on your resume. You can tell people about it. Get praise. Everyone will think it's really impressive. Which, I mean, it is, you know, very impressive. But, like, always a wonderful feeling. But another thing is that it can really, like, develop yourself as a person. Through your writing, you can, like... You can grow as a person, you can find things out about yourself, or just like you're writing your characters and going on the whole journey of a writer and going through the journey your characters are taking in your book and their plot. I'm making sense. But like, I feel like that can help develop who you are and change who you are for the better, or just like in general. And I know one downside that they talk about is like um, agents or authors might not take you as seriously but I feel like there could be a benefit in like marketability like if you're a teen author that's impressive and maybe agents would be more likely to take you because they'll be like wow this is, we can market like this is a novel written by a teen author so cool you know or if you're marketing yourself again like so cool look guys I'm a teen author who's written <laughs> so you know um and I think my final benefit to talk about is that you have like a unique perspective because most most novels are written by anyone older than 20 years old but if you're a teen author that's like a unique perspective a unique take on life and writing so I think that could make your novels more unique and interesting but yeah, I think that's all I got. Sorry for this rambly, terrible talking video, but I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Okay, I actually have additions that I, this is like, I was going back to edit this video and I actually have some additions that I came up with. Another benefit of being a teen author is that we have way more time than adult authors. Because if you're an aspiring adult author, like if you're an adult who has not published a book that can, or even just you have published a book, but if your books are not able to, like you can't make a living off of them, then you have to deal with a full-time job that exhausts you. Or maybe you have a family that takes up a lot of time, which is great, obviously. But as a teen, we have a lot more time. Yes, we have school. Yes, that is seven hours a day. Yes, we might have sports that are two hours, three hours a day. However, we have more freedom with our time. And I feel like, um, yes, school may be really tiring. Yes, my sports may be really tiring. But I feel like it's not as tiring if I were to work a nine to five job. Okay? Just saying. Um, yes, we may have homework. Still, I think we still have more free time. Obviously, this depends on the situation, but we might have more free time, okay? We also might have more flexibility in our schedule, like weekends, or like we could write in the morning before school or evening. I guess that's the same thing as a job, but still, we could write during school if we had a study hall, you know? Like, we have more flexibility, freedom, more time. Anyway, besides that little side note, I think that's the only other benefit I could think of, but let me know in the comments if you think of any other benefits. Make a list. Maybe be optimistic. I think it helps our mindset. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry for the two endings, and see you next one. <laughs>